Woo! It's another great day to be a Miami Hurricane. And I know, I know, you guys are like, dude, Anton, have you not been watching? Have you not seen our season record? Have you never watched the games? Are you not up to date? It's okay. Look, guys, there's so much negativity out there in the world. It's time for some positivity. Now, that's not to say this video is going to be a lot of criticism, but positive vibes are a thing that we need. All right, we got to be still supportive of this university, um, but we definitely need to criticize it. But I'm just saying, guys, it's another great day to be a cane. So let's get into it. This video is going to be about, you know, everyone is talking, you know, the we need to fire the coach, we need a new AD, we need uh, this or that, and just scrambling all over. And I just said, you know what? We keep throwing thoughts around. Let's assess what we as a fan base can sit down and say, let's enjoy and look for this in the season. So this is a couple of thoughts that I outlined that I would like to see, and I think you all guys should look for as well, for the rest of the season. Like, what is there to get? I mean, we ain't getting an ACC Coastal. We ain't getting in the ACC Championship. We ain't going to be in a great bowl game. Our recruiting class isn't going to improve. What do we look for? All right, so number one thing, next week, this weekend, is Pitt. I want to see one of these two things to happen. Either this thing keeps sliding down and certain actions are done, which are going to be the second part of the video. The first part is good actions happen because of what's been done. Uh, number one, this defense needs to look like it did during the Virginia game. That's a given. Um, I want to see that linebacker position be utilized correctly i want to get some experience to sam i don't want to see only the some walk-on guy over there that is what i want i do not want to see a walk-on i do not want to see a walk-on and i want to see a guy that's come in highly regarded or a local miami guy that's a freshman and or a sophomore hopefully gosh they're all so been banged up but I don't care who it is. I really don't. It's not a. I don't have a favorite linebacker with no experience. It's kind of hard to do that. But I want to see linebacker position be utilized correctly. Along with, uh, I know Shaq is healthy and Pickney's not. I don't want to see Shaq in the whole game if he's going to be playing like he did the last game. I know he had some pretty nice stats, but he had too many missed tackles, too many mistakes that literally cost us the game. If I, I, I'd rather see experience being spread out at this point. Uh, number two on the offensive side. I do not want to see this offensive line regress. I want it to improve in some sort of way. I do want to see a new personnel type out there. If this offensive line is not doing what it needs to be doing at halftime, that change needs to happen. Um, it seemed kind of better last game. It didn't regress, but it was no by no means great. Um, which, along with that, though, I want to see some Cam Harris. I DJ was doing well, and nothing against them. I'm just excited for Cam Harris, man. I he had a season, uh, a career day last week. I want to see more and more from him. Um, that'll be awesome. Uh, Lingwar's been kind of quiet, you know. He said it's only going to be better, better and healthy. Um, we kind of stopped asking, so I don't know when he's going to say. I don't know when he's going to do that. Um, with all the rumors that are going around, it, it doesn't seem like it'll be this game. So I'm excited for Cam. Uh, another thing that I'm excited about for tight ends. I want them being used. Okay, Jeff Thomas is out. I want our tight ends being used. I am excited and I'm looking forward to our tight ends being used. I'm looking for and I'm excited for Dan Enos deciding, okay, this season has gone this way. We need to get outside of our box and do something different. That's what I am really, really looking for. And that's what we as a team can look for. Because, look, it's hard to imagine us winning out every single game we have. But we as fan base have to be supportive and trying to believe that that can happen. Would it not be amazing if we blew out the rest of the teams? I mean, by the end, the season's narrative is going to be different. If we go to Pitt and go 42 to 0, that can't happen. And we keep talking about this talent, this talent, and not playing to our talent. That can still happen, okay? Now, do we have faith and belief in that? No, absolutely not. And should we? Honestly, it, no. We've been way too much at this point. But that's something you can look forward to in hoping that the experience and the player personnel is being utilized correctly. No favoritism is being played. That's what I really, really want to see. Now, let's say things continue to slide like that. The offensive line is regressing even more to the depths that you couldn't imagine. Um, the quarterback play is just they're doing a carousel and shuffling around or whatever. Kickers, same thing. Um, on the defensive side, linebackers and walk-ons. And our secondary is just abysmal. The defensive line isn't doing its thing. Okay. What do you look for in that situation? This is what I look for. I look for after the pit game for a fire. 
one hundred percent. And I'm not saying that we should look forward for someone's hire fire. I'm just looking forward to this CEO, Manny Diaz, big cojones that he's been shown and displaying to us. I want it actually done. I want him to walk out there and say, look, this is what... Because if you sit there at the end of the day and your defense is not playing, you think about Blake Baker and his responsibility, and you say, all right, what does this person bring to our team? And if you have to sit there and think, there's your answer. If they do not bring anything to your team... They are draining your assets and taking you down. And I'm sorry, this is a business, okay? And so I want to see a correct response by the person in control for this season. Now, you guys are watching and are five and a half minutes into this, so you guys are for real deal. So I'm going to address something that needs to be addressed. Um, for, first of all, I did not let you guys down. I was not on the Category 5 show, not because of my decisions, um, I am completely fine with all the members. We're in great terms, except for Wholesome One Holloway. Um, he didn't send me an invite to the stream for no reason that I know. I have texted him, I have called him, I have reached out to him, and he has simply not responded. I don't even know why he's mad or whatever the rift is. So, with all this negativity going around, sure, I could put a video and put someone on blast about look, this is a show that I heavily orchestrated into existence, um, help the person out, you know go from 1,000 subscribers and help them build up during the summer. But you know what? There's nothing negativity. Y'all guys go ask him why he does not. He doesn't return any of my calls or texts. I don't care for more negativity where Miami is at right now. But it wasn't a very you family thing to do. So, uh, But I just needed to address that. That was not me failing you guys. That was not my decision. It is what it is, though. Uh, we're going to move on from that. Now, for Manny Diaz, I want to see big moves. Okay, bold moves. Put pressure on Danny. You're the head coach. I know maybe you're not an offensive-minded coach, but you put pressure on Dan Enos to change things if you see that the best 11 men aren't on the field. But my frustration is, you're a defensive-minded coach. How did you let Blake Baker do this stuff with walk-ons going on? Uh, you, you have the trigger. You're allowing this to happen. And they're saying you concurred. I want to see change from that position. Um, that's, that's what I want to see. I was serious bold moves i want you to stick with the guy that you put at field goal kicking i want you to stick with the guy that you use for quarterback i don't care who it is at this point in the time i want you to put legitimately less best low man players on the field and if they're not performing to their level that they are not uh giving you that you keep talking about playing miami football which there was a lot of non-miami football play last week then you Take them off the field and put someone else with no experience in. I don't care. What do you have to lose? If you want to build a culture, you've destroyed this season record so much. Now's the time to build your culture without any risk taken because you got nothing to lose. You got no That is what we as a family has got to look for, you know, in a positive way if it ends or in a negative way. Um, now, in the future after that, we'll see where it goes. But I'm, getting, I'm telling you guys, we got to put out performances. We, we can't just play mediocre or close games. we got to put up performances. We have the talent to do that. Uh, the staff is on fire after this week. Everyone's really on them, and they should be. So that's what to look for. Again, guys, it's hard. It's a rough time. I know our record. I've seen the record to play. I've seen the mismanagement of this team, this staff, uh, and unfulfilled promises. But at the end of the day, guys, it doesn't matter. It's always all about the youth.